Corky's that's in Corky. Big time. And that's Corky. Oh, no. And then oh, the rest of Takara. I think I posted that picture of you. Not me grabbing the seat. So, yeah, I mean, for me, Corky, one, Corky's a legend because of her age and how long she's been in captivity. The fact that she is so massive, she's the largest uh, killer whale, uh, female killer whale in the world in captivity at 8,200 pounds. Uh, the maximum that they grow in the wild is also 8,000 pounds. So you can say she is the biggest even in the wild. You know, the biggest that they can reach in the wild. And um, Corky was the first killer whale that I ever got in the water with. So she was the first killer whale I started to work. First killer whale that I, I, I began to swim with. So she'll always have a special place in my heart. You know, because of that, because yeah. you know. Yeah, the first one is always the first love. She is was always, the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I, you know, I. As I learned, as I got higher up in the ranks, and and I started focusing more on the more dangerous whales like Kasaka and Takara, I still swam with Corky, but less frequently because I had to spend so much more time with Kasaka and Takara and mm -hmm. animals like that that require more attention. Much more attention for you to say, stay safe. Corky, as long as I swim with her at least once a week, I can maintain that relationship. Like Asaka and Takara, um, you could miss a day, but that would be it. Uh, then you would really have to work on, yeah. So she, you know, Corky is very tolerant. Um, she's very forgiving. Um, she, she helps out on a lot of stuff. For example, learning a hydro. So on a hydro, you foot push down all the way down to the bottom of the pool, uh -huh. which is 36 feet in uh, Florida and, and California and 40 in Texas. But she, you know, she's in California, so only been in the California Seawall Park. So you'll foot push down 36 feet on her and you pull up and you're steering. But she's wow. so big she's and so massive like we don't there's not a whale that we swim with that's bigger than her like wow. there's so she's bigger than the male whales that we swim with wow. yeah yeah so um, so a hydro on her is the most um, explosive powerful thing that you can do so it's kind of a, a catch-22 when you're learning with her because yes she is more tolerant and more forgiving but because of her size and her power, yeah. she's so explosive, it's hard to ride her, right. you know, which is what it is. Right. But what's so cool about it is that when you're learning a hydro on her, that in the beginning, mm -hmm. even though you're trying to go 36 feet, she won't take you to the bottom because she knows that you can't handle it yet. Oh, wow. So she'll force you and pull you up oh. no deeper than 20 feet and come up and she goes really slow. And then you just dive off of her. She knows. And then uh, when she feels, because she can feel in your foot, the angle of your body, how many times you do it, she can tell when you're ready. And then she'll she'll be like, okay, you're ready. We're going all the way to the bottom. You'll be in full on hydro. But she makes these choices on her own. On her own, wow. Based off of, because she knows you're not ready for me on this behavior. <laughs> So it's so cool yeah. you know, that she does that. And she does it for no other reason than to protect us. Because she knows that we would crash, potentially fatally, <laughs> you know, if we, uh, if she took us down to the, the first time to do a hydro in a session, um, you usually crash anyway, no matter who you're on. But an 8,200 pound animal, all the way 36 feet down, like you would, so it goes down and then and then it comes and then yeah you pull up along the bottom so my chest is on the bottom of the pool I pull up she pulls up underneath me she gets underneath me as soon as her flukes clear then she kicks it in 25 30 miles an hour yeah so uh, she's amazing very uh, you know, it's sad too because she's uh, beat up on so much by the really? other whales because she's Pacific and most of the other whales are Icelandic. So, 